today we are talking about jobs and Singaporean jobs. Singaporeans must regain their jobs they lost due to PAP's ultra-liberal inbound immigration policies and grand plans of population growth. I'll give you some numbers along the way. 193,800 employment pass or EP pass holders earning $3,900 and above a month. 194,900 S pass holders earning between $2,400 and $3,899 a month. 440,000 work permit holders who are not construction workers or uh, foreign domestic workers who are mates. They are not. They are uh, spread across multiple industries and sectors. While we do not have an uh, absolute figure of the unemployment of Singaporeans, our uh, MO Ministry of Manpower has only released 3.5% Singaporeans who are uh, between 21 to between 70 who are unemployed and I have crunched the numbers and that gives us about 80,000 potentially unemployed Singapore citizens. These numbers are from M M uh, Ministry of Manpower's MMOM which is just the tip of the iceberg. How about those who are employed but currently underemployed? PMETs professionals, management, executive and technical jobs uh, face underemployment due to uh, wages and salaries being depressed by cheaper source of foreign labour. Now, let's talk about cleaners, nurses, teachers, security guards, hawkers, wet market stall operators, private hire vehicle drivers, taxi drivers, food delivery couriers. These jobs demand long hours of hard work while the income and returns from them is being depressed by cheaper source of labor. Last week, there was a viral WhatsApp circulating of more than 40 business, food and beverage businesses which are closing down. And this might sound bad, but wait a minute. These are not government figures, but a mere compilation of citizens whose favorite food and beverage joints have closed down. So the actual figures might actually be worse, far worse. Senior Minister Darman mentioned that the National Job Councils will create jobs and training opportunities on an unprecedented scale and level. In the same article, it is quoted that there are 100,000 job seekers. That's a lot. Singapore has never had that much of a quantum number, an absolute whole number of unemployed people or job seekers. While it might look fantastic that look compared to other countries, we've only got 3.5% unemployment. We have never had a number of 80,000 and potentially 100,000 active job seekers at any given point of time from uh, in our history from independence to current and this is worrying. Citizen unemployment as of March 2020 estimates of 3.5% on the Ministry of Manpower's website might actually be higher due to COVID-19 coronavirus outbreak pandemic as well as circuit breaker measures implemented for the past two months, plus the current proposed circuit breaker exit phases period, which might lead to another two to three months of non-full economic um, uh, ability to operate. There's like partial economic reopening, which might affect jobs, it might affect business and trade. Senior Minister of State, for Health and Communications and Information, Chi Hong Tat mentioned on 5th of June 2020 that 3,800 companies closed down in April. What does that mean? That at least 3,800 self-employed company directors and owners are actually 
currently not employed or not self-employed as they used to be. Now, let's imagine if on average, conservatively, each of these people employed another three to five people as employees, staff and workers. That would mean 11,000 people to 19,000 people have lost their jobs. And this is just a very conservative estimate forecast. The sentiment among the people is that they are not being listened to by the politicians and the elite political class. It's time that we stood up for the real people, average people, ordinary people, the decent, honest and hard-working people. We are in dire need of accountability, balance and checks. We need to put people first. We need to vote for change to take back control. We need to make Singapore our home again. Together, you and I, us as a united people, Thank you very much for watching my video. I'm Prabhu, I'm signing off. Thank you.